Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. Thank you so much for all of the wonderful well wishes about getting the uh, cancer spot taken off of my nose here in the future. I appreciate all the prayers and thoughts that you sent my way for, for me and for Greg. So we'll get it done, we'll get it done. I'm hoping for a small isolated incident, but you don't know till they go in there. So today, 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 I have on our calendar that it is Team Spirit Day. So I would love to see those um, Team Spirit quilts that you've made, ones for your high school, for your college, for your uh, favorite sports team, the football, the baseball, uh, basketball, whatever, hockey, you know, if you've got ice skating, uh, you know, any any kind of sport that you have done a quilt for, you know, be it themed by the images or whether it's the fabric lines that you've used, used. I cannot think of ever having done a team themed quilt myself, which I find very interesting. Um, I, maybe because, you know, I just, I don't know, I just haven't done it. So I, I've always thought about doing one for baseball for my brother. So he's an avid baseball fan. Uh, so that might, and, and, and it kind of ran in the family. So it was my grandfather and my uncle. Uh, so I think that maybe, maybe someday there's a baseball quilt. So share those over at my community. I quilt along with Pat Sloan at Facebook. And remember, it is a public community, which means you don't even have to be a member. You can just come over as a guest and you can actually post and interact there. So I hope to see you. Hope to see those uh, great sports quilts today. I also had a ma have a mail call and I want to show you what I got. So darling. Uh, Karen sent me this super cute card. Look at this. How cute is that? Makes me want to run out and get a puppy. And she sent this. Look at this pumpkin. It is so cute. It's knitted. It's squishy. It's darling. It's like, oh, it's like a little bitty pillow. I love it. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. I also, the wonderful people at Ulfa that I work with sent me this super cool Yeti. Uh, so this one, they had it put for the Ulfa, and I love that. Look, they've got their tools, their, the rotary cutter that I love, and their crafting knives. So this is wonderful. I think Greg is already claiming it. <laughs> What's with that, right? But it's got this handle. <clears throat> Thank you, my friends at Ulfa. All right, my Harmony quote line is in stores. It is shipping to stores right now. So I want to, I'm just so excited. Uh, the Fat Quarter Shop does have it in and I know other stores have it in. If your store hasn't ordered yet, um, you can ask them to do that. Just tell them to go to Benertex and get my Harmony wide back fabrics. So wide backs are fabrics that you can just get them and put them on the back of your quilt because they are super wide. Here, I'll just hold one up. There we go. So this is this is this is half of the width. So I would open it, it would be all the way out. So this is just one half of the width. So you can, you know, do a lot of quilts, really big quilts without having to piece the backing. You just get the yardage that you need. Uh, so it's 108 and then uh, however, you know, the other dimension is that you need is how much yardage you yardage you would order. So I've got these gorgeous colors from lights to darks, and that's a light blue one. <clears throat> Let's see down here. I have just gotten in fabric for me to use. So th these were just sort of smaller cuts, which were not really long enough for most quilts, although I pieced a couple of them, like I did use this one. Uh, there's a minty green. I've got black. Oops, black is gorgeous. And then a hunter green, kind of a berry red, black and white, which I understand was the most popular one. So it was had to be reordered already. I've got a nice tan that'll go for all your warm and cozy quilts. And then another shade, a different shade of blue, a, a light cream, two different shades of purple, because you know you need the different shades and then a sort of a pearly white, 
Look at that. Yum. Gorgeous navy and a light purple, really light purple, and a medium blue. That kind of summer blue. So it is thrilling to finally be able to uh, have these to work with so I can start using them on the backs of my quilts. Um, it, in a minute here, I have a couple little clips where I was doing things during the week, and one of them was piecing the backing for the all, all the trimmings quilt. So you'll see sort of how I went through that for piecing the backing. Because now I could have just used the black from this line or the white from this line. Either one of those, I think, would have looked really nice on the back of all my trimmings. Let's see. Oh, I want to show you, you know, Bev, who designed <clears throat> the wonderful fabric I'm using for our wreaths and her wreath pattern, sent me some of the other goodies uh, that she has. And I want to show them to you because they are... She is so clever, and you know that I really love her needle minders. I've used them a lot, and, and so she sent me uh, these, these fun things to show. One of them is coming up. It's not in yet, so I'm going to save that till last. I'll put it up there so you can't see it yet. So she has the Turner, which is the absolute best. Um, who can't love a Flamingo Turner? Her company name is Flamingo Toes. She has these really nice... Um, leatherette, I guess that's what you would call it, these tags that you can add to like bags that you make. So there's holes in the side so you can just sew them in to a cute bag. And then she has all her cute needle minders. So let me just scroll you in a little bit and get the glare off of there. Okay, the, ca the, the little caravan, the trailer, and then you've seen I've been using the um, pin cushion one so uh, look at the little flowers T darling the sewing machine and then she has a couple of pools for the bags and this one is this one is the quilt shop I love that then she also has the quilt shop as a needle minder perfect right the little bicycle I like these smaller ones like this is similar to the flamingo one because when you're doing the cross stitch they're not so heavy and then, of course, the red truck with the tree for Christmas. And I will link you down below to everything. And then she has a flower market pool. I just love the pools. They are so, so darling. Uh, okay, she also has great fabric. And another one of her fabric lines that's currently out that's the non-Christmas line is Stardust. Uh, and I may have shown you Stardust before because I was using it for something, uh, but let me just show it to you again real quick because uh, you got to love it. Got to love it. It's really beautiful pinks. There's the flamingos. Shells. She's got the darker pink. Then she's got this gold, and like funky stuff, like cute little sunglasses. I like that gold in there, the light blue, and then the whites. Oh, then there's a green, too. There's a few pieces of the green. So, so wonderful. She's a great friend and does great designs. I love working with Bev. So let me just show you a few of these videos that I did, which were things that didn't quite fit in on days that I did them. It is the morning of the Virginia Quilt Museum's 25th anniversary uh, Zoom event, the, the celebration of their anniversary, and I just got back from a walk. Got a nice little cup of coffee because it's a little chilly out there. And I decided, well, I think I can get this small table runner basted before I need to go get ready. <laughs> Gotta fit these things in where you can. So instead of running up to cut batting, I went and looked in my batting bag. These were some pieces that came from trimmings off of quilts that were just done. And lucky me, I found, look, 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 this is great. So I've got the whole piece that I need to do the batting. So I'm going to go ahead and base this one. Then I have it ready to free motion quilt for the book. And you'll see it sometime late 2022. And you will totally have forgotten that I've talked about this. I have this, uh, all the trimmings quilt up on the design wall and it needs a backing. So what I decided to do was look through the fabrics I had gotten to work with in addition to the uh, Jolly Bar to see what I had enough of so that I could just piece a backing for this particular one because then I could just use up that fabric. It's not a very big quilt so that means that I, you know, wasn't going to take a lot to, to piece a backing. So I had a piece of the gray, the gray dots, 
and I put that in down the middle. The, this red with the holly is what I got for the binding. So I cut the binding first and then what was left, I was able to do the two side pieces and then along the bottom. Only thing is it didn't go all the way across the bottom and I have a little bit of that red left, but I want to be sure just in case I mismeasured the binding. So I'm keeping that on the side. I just added this square of the gray. Now, does that bother you? Is anybody, is that like, or any of you hyperventilating? You're like, ah, I can't make a back with one chunk like that. I do that a lot when I piece backs. It doesn't bother me at all to have one little chunk like that. Now this is ready. I'm not sure if I will just, I'm thinking of just basting this up and using my walking foot and doing the wave stitch on it just so that it's, uh, you know, cute little quilt. So I'd be ready to use <laughs> fast and easy. So one of the things I have to do this week is go into these bins and take the things out that uh, are done the projects that are done so they can free up those bins plus the other ones have just sort of accumulated things and they're not super organized right now uh, I just kind of shove stuff in there there's some future projects things I wanted to show you so that is what I need to do and when I pull them out I'll just take them over to the table like this is the one from summer soiree and I actually have pulled out a few fabrics but these all need to be uh, decided if they're going to get cut up or not or if they're going to go over into just this, the regular bins. And then I have some basics that I need to, like the base, the basics here. Uh, so I'm over here on the corner working for a little bit today. So what I find in that basket, I put it in groupings by color. Whoops, no, this, okay, not that one. That's not my color. So there's, I'd already taken some of the blues out, green, yellow, black, gray, uh, lights with other colors, the background, and then reds. This is a stack of ones that I'm going to give to a friend because I'm not probably going to use these. And then I had one piece that was uh, small enough that I just cut it into strips. Then I had some leftovers that, <laughs> oh no, yep. these were pieces that uh, either you cut and there was an extra or I didn't use them I didn't so I've got all of those and those will have to go into into building the crumb blocks so now I have this basket empty I will go and put these in with the respective colors and I'll put this in the bag for my friend I may pull out one or two others for her and that little task will be done alrighty there you go you got a little uh, peek into some of the other uh, types of things that I had going on this week. Now you're going to show me your team spirit quilts. <laughs> I actually can't wait because I want to be inspired. I want to find something that I want to do. I think I need to collect some baseball fabric. All right, my friend. Oh, I forgot to show you. This is what's coming up from Bev. Look at the little hanger. It's a kitty. Kitty pins. Those are coming soon. When they're in, I'll let you know. Links are below. Please subscribe. I love you. Mwah.